They brought him from the river. Instead of them to take him to the harbor leaves, I told them to bring him so that they will perform the ritual. So that his spirit will come back. Honestly, I I didn't want to talk about this, but for my friends were like, Ruby, if you don't tell them, how will they know? The boat, the guy will drive the boat where Dio Fog will enter. Yes. The guy know look well. Another boat will come. If, ah. if, if the guy know you will look. Welcome once again. Now, the news of the accident that happened on a river, a popular river, River Niger, where an actor, a Nollywood actor, Junior Pope, passed away, has gone viral. And people are confused. In fact, you will be watching a short clip where the actor was telling the boat uh, pilot um, telling him to take it easy. At first, it was like a joke, like it wasn't really... It might be laughing, but uh, it got to a point anyway. He became serious about it and he said, um, take it easy, man. Although he had the phone to his ear and he was recording with one or someone was recording him. Uh, I, I don't really know. Um, the thing is this, he kept telling the person and he got to a point, he said, take it easy. It is unfortunate that... Uh, People will go on such ride and, you know, we do not have some enforcement agency. Imagine such a boat without life jacket. Terrible, isn't it? Now, some might say, no, I'm not going to put on life jacket that someone else wore. Um, it's because we don't have things working as it should. Things are not put in place as it should be put in place. This was for a movie shoot. They went for a movie shoot and they were returning back. And they had to go through this route. No life jacket, no protection, and it's as terrible as that. Let us watch this clip where, where, he, where he spoke, and we'll talk more. I beg, no vex, yeah? Yeah, bros. Don't leave me there, bro, no vex. Oh, my, they laugh. Don't leave me there, bro, no. Don't leave me there, bro. I got three children. I'm going to raise them. I got three children, I'm going to raise them. <laughs> Bros, I beg! Oh, Jesus, what is this? Bros, I beg, I beg. I beg. I got three children, I'm going to raise them. I beg, take a small spot. Don't like this is a risk. Swag Nation, see the risk we take. Hey, it's okay like this, I beg. Don't speak. See the risk we take, people, to entertain you. Live on the wrecks on River Niger. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one that they hit under. You don't go boss, Abi. Swag Nation, the lie. Oh, but my, my, my test are not come out, though. I'm not joking. <laughs> the risk we take to entertain you. I am begging the captain that I'm the only child and I have three boys. I will raise them. Yes, sir. So captain, God bless you. He don't come down with the speed. Yes. No, 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 this is Swag <laughs> Yes, so. So, immediately after the announcement that Junior Pope and others had passed away, they said some survived, this did not survive. Um, the information was a bit sketchy. It wasn't really making sense. But they claimed that Junior Pope had passed away, that they both capsized. They, they, some even said that the boat uh, hit another boat. A lot of um, narratives are out there. And I said to myself, what is really going on here? And in few hours, we heard that Junior Pope uh, is alive and that he has been taken to the hospital. Let us watch this clip. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Jilapam is alive! 
With the news that Junior Pope is alive, it got a lot of people happy. People are happy. Fans were happy. And one of the persons that talked about him being alive is Stanley. Let us listen to what he has to say. I won't lie you guys. I won't lie you guys. We are the one that took him to the herbalist that performed the ritual. The herbalist, the herbalist that performed the ritual did everything possible to make sure he comes to life. He gets the reason why we brought him to the hospital just to give him oxygen. That is our last choice. You get, you get, you just want to, you just want to give him oxygen. You just want to give him oxygen, but he's already confirmed dead. You read because we came late. Nollywood is just a frustrated place. So they brought him from the river instead of them to take him to the herbalist that told them to bring him so that they will perform the ritual. So that his spirit will come back. They rushed him to mortuary direct, not even hospital. They didn't bring him to the hospital. They, they took him to the to the mortuary. Nollywood just want me you die so that they will come bury you. That is Nollywood for you. You get so many papers in replace you. They just they brought him straight to the mortuary, to the morgue. Even the mortician. It was when the mortician confirmed that this guy is still alive. That was when we, we, we took it upon ourselves. To take him back to the Abalis. When we did when we went there, I don't go lie to you, the Abalis say No, we are talking about the crew member too. You say we're not talking about the crew member, we're talking about the crew member. We're talking about the crew member. Some people are still under the water. Three people. Two 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 sand, sand um, engineers and a makeup artist. They are still under the water. Tomorrow by twelve o'clock we'll go to that place and 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 um do the normal ritual because they have to do ritual before they resume the body. When we when we went to the you know people don't know what we are facing in Hollywood. We don't know what we face for Hollywood. This same Hollywood they have given me poison there. Yeah, I vomited blood. I I almost died. He gets they do so many things. Hollywood is evil. They are bad. See, that not carry me. Nollywood is evil. See Regina, Regina don't still turn back again. This is Regina, Regina Daniel just came. This is the second time she's coming. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. The people, half of not not even half. 90% of the people here now are content creators. They are content creators. They are just creating content for their Facebook pages. And they are Nollywood actors and actresses. Hollywood, an evil place. Even when we reach there, look at my face. They point to my face. Sam. What is it fucking up? They point to my face. He's, he's, he's taking oxygen. We have performed the ritual. That is the most important thing. We took him to the man's office and we performed the ritual. The man told us to take him to the hospital so that he would take oxygen. Now you, they talk rubbish. Now you, they talk rubbish. Come here, come do the video, monkey. Now you they talk rubbish. Not upon ourselves. They took this guy from river direct to the morgue, to mortuary. The mortuary attendant said that this guy never died. May they can't go perform the ritual. If they perform the ritual, then they carry him to, to the hospital. We took this guy to the Abalis um, um, place. And the guy performed all the whole ritual and told us to go and give him oxygen. What's the worry you? You are mad. Talk to you are talking rubbish. God punish you. Now, if... An accident occur unless you know that that person is brutally massacred i mean like the accident is brutal his head is off and everything is cut off and you know there is no way this person will be alive apart from that normally if there is any of this uh, let's say someone drowned and all of that hospital should be the next isn't it but they quickly took Junior Pope to the mark. A lot of people have been buried alive. For your information, a lot of people have been buried alive. If they were taken to the hospital and proper medical attention is gotten, that person might uh, come back to life. So sad, so sad. You will put yourself at risk if you are to go on a boat without life jacket you put yourself at risk uh, maybe you're a construction worker you were involved in climbing height and all of that 
without some form of protection maybe you have helmet on your head or you ride a motorbike or whatever it is important that you take note of these things we need to educate ourselves i repeat again a lot of people have been put under the soil whilst they were still alive maybe they fainted maybe they were just in a coma but they will just put them under the mug and that's it they will bury them like what happened to mobad people said mobad was alive but we know that the hospital that Wumi, the so-called widow of Mobad, took him to the hospital, declared him DOD. Now, let us listen to eyewitness. The other guy, you can see that he's furious, he's angry, and um, people have to take this thing personal. Let us listen to eyewitness and we'll talk more. The guy who drive the boat where, where uh, Juno Pogre enter. Yes. The guy no look well. Another boat they come. This ah. is the guy no even look. You know, get, now even this is my own self, I say, see another boat, see another boat. Before the guy go open eye, the, the two boats go already near each other. Oh. That the thing, that the own boat, go down that one, that the thing. Well, well, no divers, no there divers. No, no so, divers now. And the thing they fail me because there's no, there's no diver here. So and the thing go happen now, all of them don't already done the inside water. But luckily for um, this virus oh. and other persons. But, 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 he survived. But, 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 now a lot of people are worried apart from those that can be seen celebrating when they got the news that uh, he is alive but is junior pope the only one on that boat apart from the captain of the boat apart from the guy you know transporting them what about other people this is what uh Evianis, Ev Ev Evianis toby said what about the crew members who also drowned where were they also taken to the hospital can we also get information on them thought they said four people drowned so why are people rejoicing on Junior Pope only? What about others? According to the eyewitness, he said there are three other people, or is it four, underneath. So what is going on here? What is happening? What is going on here? So sad, isn't it? No, not good at all. Not good at all. Um, we need to do more. We need to do better to preserve lives. And if you are going for a movie shoot or you are just transversing, unless you know that you are an expert and you can swim, even at that, you are advised to have life jacket. You are advised to have life jacket. Imagine the guy 
cruising the, 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 the boat. He has no life jacket. Let us assume that he can swim. Let's assume that he can swim. But if there is an accident, like they got hit that way, anything could happen. You could get underneath the boat. The boat could uh, press on you and push you down and you cannot swim up. Anything could have happened to them. Anything could have happened to them. You could get heat on your head. You know, there are rocks under the sea, rocks under the river. There are spikes and um, a lot of things are under the, under the underwater. Anything could have happened to them there. But somehow, they were able to rescue Junior Pope. What about others? Was Junior Pope able to swim or he was able to hold on to something? Or the, what, what, what exactly is this said? Because we are not getting clarity on it. We are not getting clarity on it. Now, let us look at the rigmarole. Let us look at the roundabout that they took. When it happened, the first place should be the hospital. But you know, with this um, foolish culture, tradition, and paying too much attention, too much attention to some of these practices. Oh, let's take him to the water priest or priestess. So that rituals can be done on his behalf. What is this thing? What is this rubbish? It is because of this continuous uh, reverence, continuous attention. Too much of it being paid to all of this so-called uh, our, our way of life, our ancestors, our deity and all of that. When you pay too much attention, it breeds lies. Lies that they continuously make it to appear like the truth that is what it brings you begin to hear stories that don't make sense and they expect you to believe it you'll find it in in Christ, christendom when you say supernatural there is natural attached to the super so it means that you need to apply your sense your your mind needs to process certain things too even though there are things that are beyond the physical laws such as gravity and all of that but in this case, why was he not rushed to the hospital first? Rush him to the hospital. What happened to him is physical. What happened to him? I mean, if you drown, it's a physical thing. It's a physical thing. We all know that human beings cannot breathe in water. You can't breathe. We are not fishes. We don't have gills. We don't have the mechanism. To stay in water and breathe. We don't. We don't. Not at all. So, what is this uh, foolishness? What is this rubbish? What is this nonsense? It, it does not make sense at all. So, they had to now take him first. They dragged, took him to the morgue instead of the hospital. What, who confirmed him not alive? Then the morgue now told them, uh, the mortician, or is it the morgue attendants? Oh, take him to the priest first. Instead of saying, take him to the hospital. Take him to the priest first. Then they now took him to the priest. Wasting valuable time that could have been used to resuscitate him. Then the priest now performed rituals on him. Obviously, he's not going to do it for free. Then they now took him to the hospital. To get him oxygen. What nonsense is that? If he needed oxygen, was that oxygen not needed at that time that he was taken out? Let us apply wisdom. I know we, we are saddled with these uh, crazy things. This craziness. This, this foolishness. Where those, you know, religion and all of these beliefs, they have, they, they have oppressed us, brainwashed us. They, they have crushed our proper reasoning. You cannot even think straight. You cannot even think as a proper human being. Apply wisdom and do. They will make you know that there is nothing that you as a person, your God's given ability, your brain and everything that God has given to you, they will make sure that it is disabled. You can't use it. Everything has to be super, su spiritual. Everything has to be spiritual. I'm not saying we don't have these things. But the more attention you pay to it, the more lies it breathes. 
Because those that are custodian of this, they want you to remain in servitude to it. So they will continuously come up with stories and make believe so that you remain a slave to it. And once you're a slave to it, you cannot win until you break free and say, hey, enough is enough. Look at countries that are thriving. Who told you that they don't have occultism or any of this? But they've destroyed this useless, foolish practices because it is counterproductive. That is why they are progressing. It's not as if they don't have uh, their own uh, occultism or have their own witchcraft or practices and all of that. They do, but they've destroyed that that we have in Africa that we have held on to embraced imagine someone caps boat capsized or they had an accident the person submerged in the water the person obviously will not be able to breathe you will drown now instead of them to quickly rush that person to the hospital to resuscitate the person they said that they should take him to the shrine because it is the sea that took him it is the river that took him it is the river that took them Rubbish, rubbish river, rubbish spirit.